I have a paper plate hoarding problem. I really do. So my trip to Target yesterday was on a super tight time limit. We were working on rearranging AJ's room somewhat and we needed to go pick something up for that for that and um I needed more bathroom wipes. I figured Target would probably be the best place to go get what I needed because um, even though I have raved about the Dollar Tree bathroom wipes, I now only buy the Target ones. They smell amazing. They're only a little bit more as far as cost, but so worth it. So when I tell you like we were on a time crunch, we were on a time crunch. And little did I know when I got there that there was going to be all this kind of clearance. Now when it comes to Target clearance, I'm either one too early and it's still marked really low as far as percentage or I'm too late and there's like nothing left. I barely ever make out with Target clearance. But I think yesterday for the first time I hit the right day. I was only supposed to walk out of there with two things. This was $8.99. Um, like I said, we were in such a rush. I thought it was all um metal but then when i got it home and aj started putting it together the the place where the sneakers shoes sit um is fabric so i was like Ugh. but i mean i couldn't say much for 8.99 uh but the fabric is very durable so if you're looking for a very inexpensive shoe rack um i would definitely give this a try it's like a gray like a dark gray um and you could really put like um the shoes under there so it kind of gives you three rows and you know he's a boy he wears high tops and we really could fit like four pairs of sneakers um in a row it would be snug but you really could and then three comfortably you know on each shelf so if you yeah, that would give you anywhere from like eight to six pairs and that's not counting the bottom row probably just three at the bottom row because of the legs anyway if you are looking for an inexpensive shoe rack i will link it in the description box um i know not all targets have the same things in stores so i know online usually is the best um way to go and i actually was going to do that i was actually was, was going to place it online but then because i kind of wanted it right away and we needed the wipes anyway I took the trip and I'm glad I did so now I am very fussy with my meat and everybody's perception of what fussy is and you know what isn't is totally different so I'm only going by my perception and I think I'm fussy when it comes to my meats you know and I'm all about saving a penny saving a dollar I'm sure you know that by now and if you don't you will find out if you continue to watch me um, so the only time I will buy discounted meat is if it still looks as good as it did the first day they put it out and to me the meats that they had did now when you go to Target always check their meat is super expensive I mean, I think it's really good meat, but I think it's just way overpriced. But a lot of times, because it is way overpriced, they don't sell it that quickly. And they end up putting like these really big saving stickers on it. And I guess yesterday I kind of hit the jackpot. They had so much, but I walked out of there with burgers and some steaks. Now, these steaks are... $12.99 and there was a $5 ticket off. So this only ended up costing me $7.99. There's eight steaks in here. I think that is an amazing deal. It basically comes to a dollar a steak. And then of course I use my red card so I get an extra 5% off of that. The burgers were tavern style steakhouse seasoned beef patties made with 100% beef. $6.99 a package with a $4 off sticker. So they only cost $2.99. That is amazing. Now, I got six packages. We did cook up two of them as soon as we got home. That ended up being our dinner. Cut up a big watermelon and we had a nice summer dinner. Um, made cheeseburgers, you know, all that good stuff. Um, they aren't 
the greatest burgers I've ever had. Not quality, not nothing like that. It's just my taste preference and Denny's taste preference too. I don't know about AJ. He didn't say anything and I didn't even think to ask. Um, it wasn't something that I would repurchase, you know. But that has nothing to do with the, the price. It's just taste-wise, um, I've bought better. I've made better. But for $2.99, you certainly can't go wrong, especially if you're having a cookout, you know what I mean? And you gotta mass produce food. Like, this is an amazing deal. So I bought six of those and there was so many packages. I think I counted like 12 or 14 of those packages and I was so tempted to buy all of them. But I'm like, no, don't do it. Don't go crazy. Like, just buy enough that you know you will get through in a, a good amount of time and just leave it for somebody else and i did and i'm glad that i did because even though we would have used it up i don't really like it enough the the flavor it might be the flavoring because i mean it's 100 percent pure beef i don't think they could put that on there if it wasn't i don't know but i just think it was the seasoning that they used that i wasn't all that crazy over but i'm definitely a decent burger now as we were like trying to get to the checkout every single end cap had clearances and i cannot tell you how badly i wanted to go to the seasonal clearance but i didn't because we kept finding other things and time kept getting shorter and shorter and i knew i just couldn't and i was kind of glad because i tend to be a seasonal decor hoarder i've been working on that for the last year i've even had um I did a collaboration a few months ago on it and there's going to be a new one uh, coming very soon. So I will have that at the end screen if you want to check that out. But I really have stuck to it. But I know I would have found stuff. Um, but I didn't go. The time just didn't allow it and the things I was finding was kind of more important than that anyways. But at the same time I'm like kicking myself because I was like oh I can imagine what I gave up. But moving on. So, all the end caps in the main aisles have all the newest stuff that, of course, you know, they're trying to promote. All the end caps that we kept finding are, like, the end of the aisles, like, towards the back walls of the stores and then the front back walls of the stores, if that makes any sense. Like, you know, where the pharmacy would be and, like, where, like, the seasonal stuff is, even though we really didn't go that end. But the food, same thing, you know, along the, like, wall where, like, the freezer's section is and stuff that's where we were finding all this stuff they had tons of these i've never tried it this is the their uh, market pantry roasted garlic parmesan pasta sauce they had tons of them um this one was i forgot it was like really cheap it was like maybe like a dollar 21 or something like that so i'm like for that price i'll try it um that way i'll know next time whether or not you know their brand of pasta sauce is any good so i got one to try and then they also had this salsa con queso from newman's own i've never tried this either but this was um clearanced out for a dollar 67 so i figure you know to make breakfast burritos so i got that and like all of this stuff again because of my red card i got an extra five percent off and then denny just needed some of these and i scanned my cartwheel Anytime you put anything in your carriage before then, please use your Cartwheel app. If you are not familiar with the Cartwheel app, I have a video on that too. I'll leave that at the end screen and it kind of walks you through how to use it. But then again, you know, just ask me if it if there's something that you still don't understand and I didn't explain it enough, I will certainly answer it. But anyway, this is just something that he needed and I just scanned it to see if it was on the Cartwheel. But it ended up having a manufacturer coupon that the manufacturer linked to cartwheel so i didn't have to do anything it automatically loaded it up for me it was a dollar off so instead of 3.99 cost 2.99 and then these were not clearance items i actually used to buy these all the time because there was a time there that i was really taking care of the way i ate and i was doing really well and eating you know decently healthy but i fell off that train and I have not been able to get back on and then these were something that I was buying all the time but then I got sick of them and then I was just never interested in them anymore I believe they were $1.99 but I saw them and we were hungry and you know how that goes never go shopping hungry so I just got the white cheddar and the Caesar on the harvest snaps I might have even bought Caesar 
way back when but i don't even remember whether i liked it or not so i figured i'd give that a try and then i have just like tried to stock up on deodorants for the guys because they went down to nothing i had nothing left out of my small stockpile that i keep so i needed to replenish so i've been couponing um at rite aid and cvs i believe or all cvs getting underarm deodorant and the guys now are only using the sprays um and i have been having to like do extra bucks and bonus cash and a co manufacturer coupons and all that stuff to get like sprays down to like two and three dollars and they had tons tons they had old spice they had degree and they had dub i just paid i think like 341 for these at cvs after extra bucks after manufacturer coupons and these were just like 298 grab it off the shelf and they're on the cartwheel for 25 percent off so i got another 25 percent off the clearance price so that made it like extremely affordably cheap so even though i kind of didn't want to buy it because i don't like to have a whole lot of stock on stuff because to me everything has an ex expiration date i mean i have had gel men's deodorant turn into water on me i've had lotion body lotions turn watery so to me if you're buying it and you're not getting to it quick enough and it's spoiling and you can't use it then you're not saving money you're actually throwing money away but nevertheless i just couldn't pass it up for that price and then Here's the bathroom wipes that I went for. I was going to get two packages just to have. Um, I usually buy multiples at a time, but then I grabbed an extra package because they were, I mean, it's just 5%. 5% is 5% on the Cotwheel app off of these. They had tons of, like, candy on clearance. They had tons of these Skittle bags. $1.48 for a full bag of skittles and then i didn't know how many buns we still had at home i didn't know if we were gonna have enough of the burgers so i just grabbed um a package of burgers it smells so good and so fresh and these were 269 and then even though i didn't go to the seasonal they had these at the end caps of like where all the paper goods are and they had a bunch of dixie plates for like 254 on clearance but that's not a clearance to me because that's basically what i pay sale price and couponing and even a little less than that um so i left those behind but these were these are the 10 inch i got four of them that's all they had anyway which i'm kind of glad because i probably would have maybe bought one or two more and again i have a paper plate hoarding problem i really do like every season i have to have a co coordinating plate like it, it's ridiculous I'm, I'm i'm ridiculous but anyway these are 10 count they were regular two dollars and they were on clearance for 75 cents now if you put these two together it's a 20 count it comes out to dollar fifty. that's basically what i pay for the walgreens band walgreens brand when it comes on sale they come on sale for like um two for three which i think is like 20 or 24 in a pack i'm not sure but it might be i'm not sure but anyway so i figured this was equivalent and it does have the little seasonal and i really i know dixie comes out with them but dixie's expensive so i never really see 10 inch plates in like decorative so that's what chose yeah. snickers oh my goodness for a dollar 48 i believe they weren't mocked but i i scanned them had tons of it and i wanted to buy so much more because this is basically everybody's favorite in this house is snickers but I refrained to only buying four. This was a pretty good score for me, um, considering like I went there for this in some way. Before my um, five percent was seventy-seven dollars, and then once they took my five percent off my red card, it came out to seventy-three dollars. So I feel like I got a lot for $73. I mean, all the burgers and, you know, good steak. And that's that. So I'm going to be quiet now, shut my little trap here, and upload this. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.